All right, this is kind of where we're at right now. We're going to back up in a second and see how we got to this point. But I want to tell you guys about a little bit about real quick. Um, you know, a lot of times people will spend way too much time trying to figure everything out in advance. And it's kind of like on something like this, you know, you're going to hit snags. You're going to hit things that, you know, are not going to be right. And, you know, you're going to have to fix later. So a lot of times if you spend too much time on trying to figure it all out in advance, um, what happens is you end up spending weeks of time instead of just getting something done, you know. So what we do is we kind of figure out a plan of what we're going to do and then we go for it. And then we already know, like I said, from here back, the frame again like well, vw bus guy says hey the frame moved a whole inch no it did not move an inch <laughs> it moved about a quarter of an inch when we unhooked it and it's because the the horseshoe was bent we straightened that out um we got everything to where it's right but again even with all the specs they have on the samba and everything else we don't know the exact shape of this thing we don't have a way to get it we just trace what we had and uh we you know, a know that we're going to be, we're going to be off somewhere in the back. So we're planning on having to fix that. So we already know the things that we're going to have to do, a couple different plans on how to do that. Um, and trying to figure out and make that right and, and not have any issues would just take more time than it's worth. And it's better to actually just know you're going to have a problem and deal with it when you get there. And know that the pertinent things are right, which is, you know, again, the track, the uh, engine height this way needs to be right. We know those things are right now. So that's where we're at. Um, we're going to have you guys watch some stuff to show what we, how we got here. And also we'll be doing some additional things uh, in the later in the video.
ain't perfect, but better than they were. If we can find some new ones, we will, or used. Saw some on the Samba for 60 bucks. Wasn't going there. Mine broke. So we did it again with plate. Now it ain't gonna break. So we just doubled up plate on here and put them in position and then uh, welded them, tacked them in place there and then uh, put another piece on, ground that down, put another piece on, uh, tacked that in place and then welded everything and then drilled the holes again. Now it won't break. Anybody interested in seeing behind window number, what, four maybe? Let's look on this side. Give us a hint, right? Pretty bad. Need to get this fixed before I put this piece on. So, all this stuff. And this is going to go on fairly soon in the game. So let's take a look behind there and see what's in there. Alright, going to get my gloves on here because uh, I know this one's going to be really slaggy. All that paint on there. Let's cut this off. See what happens. And all that paint's Surprise, surprise. Looks like a lot of rust. That's not too bad of a bump. Down below. Rope. It's fixable. Okay, so I just make a piece like go down like this and an L that goes that way, right? It gives me to my weld point and uh, looks like that's what it does above. If you guys can see that, it kind of does that right here above. I just need to make that follow all the way down. Give me something to, give me something to weld on. All right. That wasn't too bad.
this. I'm just bending this stuff. Show a little more in a second. The shrinker wouldn't do this edge because it's just too far away doing this part with the shrinker here. Little by little, let's get a little closer. So I still need to do some more here. I can get this to bend a little sharper. I'm going to have to slit cut those because they're just, it's not going to bend that far. And then I'll cut all this off. Well, I have no idea where the end of this thing is, exactly how it goes, but um, kind of like right here. I think I'm just going to cut it off here, and then if I need to add a piece on or whatever to make it work out. The main thing I need to do is get this inner piece on, and then this I know will probably attach to the inner rocker somehow. And... Uh, I'll just make a little bracket for that when I get to it. And then just go from there and then I'll have a little filler piece that goes behind here where you guys can't see. Let me see. You can maybe over here. How about right there? I think there's a I think there's a sheet metal piece that goes from the other side. It goes on here and then you weld that onto it. Something like that. I mean it had a a bead along here. I don't know if I can get one in there. It's not going to fit in the bead roller. That edge isn't. So I guess I just won't get one. That's fine. Let's cut that off. Then I'm going to cut off this edge. And then it becomes like <clears throat> this piece. And the funny thing is, is if you look at this, that they actually still, like if you had a double treasure chest, they had the piece for the rubber to go in there. I guess that's how the other cheddar treasure chest goes because it seems like it would be like the other side where it's wider, if you can see over there. But it doesn't, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I've never had a dual cheddar. I've never had a truck. So anyway, I think I'll just go with that. And then, uh, like I said, I got to get this welded on here. I got to get the inside panel made so that I can put that support piece in. A lot of work. This little stuff like here is more time than probably the frame. Just so you know. Alright, so I think that's kind of how that goes. Um, just so you guys know, I don't weld over rust. Um, but I've been told I do all the time. But that's all treated with, uh, again, with stuff that stops rust and turns it into tannic oxide, oxide which is not rust. It's just black. So... Uh, I got my little repair piece down there. I'm going to head and made that. Um, this thing, I have no idea what the shape it looks like down below here. It was just gone. There's nothing there to... So once I get the inner rocker on, then I'll figure out... Um, I'm not sure how that thing falls in here. Um, then I'll figure that out, the bottom part. So I'm not going to do much more with that. But And now I can at least put the sheet metal on that goes on here thinking I'm going to do that in two sections. You know, it's not done that way normally. Um, I'll probably just do one piece that goes, and maybe I'll just butt this together here, this little section, and then I'll go upward like that, and then I'll go across, and then I'll just lap the other one over that. So yeah, that's probably what I'll do, and then I'll just make a, I'll just lap that, be nice and strong there. Um, and I'll clean that up again before I weld it. I, again, I clean it, I clean behind here before I welded this, and then I welded it, and then I've also done the rust treatment afterwards, just because I didn't want to wait for it to dry. I wanted to get this on. So that's kind of how I'm thinking that goes. I don't know. Again, I need to cut all this out. So I'm going to need to cut out this edge here and make that one next. And then... I can make this and I would need to make, I'm just going to make an L piece. I don't know how good this is. I'm going to just grind it, you know, cut it back further and start looking for good metal. And if there's any good metal down here, it doesn't look like it, but it 
seems like up down here it's really solid um just doesn't look very good but um i know that this is rotten obviously um but i'm gonna i have to make this bottom lip edge first and make a repair section for that and then then i can finish that out kind of a lot going on in this corner this is a lot of work right here a lot of handmade stuff so it does take a lot more time and you know some of the stuff's available but not much of it you know i mean yeah you can order it from europe maybe but that piece for the whole firewall would probably cost a, a ton of money having shipped out so anyway that's it for this video i'll talk to you guys in the next one please like share and subscribe and keep watching the build we're going to get more interesting on in the next few videos um this one was kind of a almost you know just stuff i was doing but maybe it's not as interesting as some of the others talk to you in the next one